Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Good morning and a very warm welcome to our service of worship from St. Mark's on this Ascension Sunday. My name is Peter Hilton and I'm the curate in St. Mark's. Delighted to say that some of our young people are going to lead us today in our service of all age worship. In a moment, I'm going to hand over to Alex. She's going to explain to us a little bit more about what Ascension Day is. And she's going to give us that call to worship. But before I hand over to Alex, I wanted to bring to your attention some notices for the coming week. We are continuing to ask people to leave donations for our food bank in the blue bin, which sits just outside the front doors of the church. Your support for the food bank during these economically challenging times is greatly appreciated. In this past week, some of the lockdown restrictions have been lifted. Of course, one of them is that private prayer is now permissible in places of public worship. As you can appreciate, it's a complex task to be opening a building to the public during the time of a pandemic. It's imperative that the building adheres to strict uh, hygiene rules and social distancing rules. And as St Mark's and the Stack Vestry consider the potential reopening of the building for prayer, they're taking time just to weigh up and risk assess those health and safety issues and put that, that uh, weight alongside and against the good and proper desire to see the building provide a space for prayer. We'll keep you posted as to the developments in this area over the coming weeks. We can, of course, seek God where we find ourselves today in prayer. And our bishop has called us to a special time of 10 days of prayer between Ascension Day and the day of Pentecost. And so we are currently in the midst of that. We are joining with other churches across the diocese to pray for a spiritual harvest at this time. We recall how after Ascension Day, the disciples were locked in a room and for 10 days they sought God. And after those 10 days, the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost was poured out in great power upon them and the church was born. So let us believe that as we turn to God in prayer, the world around us can be impacted and know the love and power of Jesus in these difficult times. Please keep an eye out for the resources and materials around this so you can find them on our Facebook page in particular at this time. But now over to Alex. Hi I'm Alex thank you for joining us today as we worship. I don't know about you but with no school or clubs to go to I'm losing track of time. Did you know that on Thursday last week it was 40 days since Easter Sunday? This was known in the church as Ascension Day because it was on this day, 40 days after Jesus has been, had been raised from the dead, that he went up into heaven. Let us worship God. Please join in with me with the writing in bold. Jesus proved he was the son of God and was taken up into glory. In all our learning, prayers and praise today, may our worship take us closer to that glory. We are led in the singing of our first hymn, Alleluia, today by Stephen and Rosemary.
service. When we say sorry to God for the bad things we have done, for the rude things we have said, and for the nasty thoughts we have had, we say together, Lord, as we lift your name on high, we remember that we have often let you down. We have said things that are mean, we have done things that are unkind, and our thoughts are sometimes not very nice at all. Risen Lord, forgive us. Amen. Our Bible reading today tells us the story of how Jesus went up to heaven and records the last words he spoke to his disciples before leaving. Those last words are good for us to remember because they remind us of our job on earth to, as followers of Jesus. After Evie reads the passage, Eva is going to help us remember exactly what Jesus said. Our reading today is taken from the book of Acts, chapter 1, beginning to read at verse 6. Then they gathered around him and asked him, Lord, are you going at this time to restore the kingdom of Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. After he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud hid him from their sight. They were looking intently up to the sky as he was going, and suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? The same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. Then the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the hill called the Mount of Olives, a Sabbath day's walk from the city. When they arrived, they went upstairs to the room where they were staying. Those present were Peter, John, James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James son of Alphaeus and Simon the Zealot and Judas, son of James. They all joined together, constantly in prey, among the women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. Thanks be to God for his word to us today. Hello, my name is Eva, and today I'll be teaching you your memory verse. You will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Let's read it again. You will be my witnesses telling people about me everywhere in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Now I'm going to take one more. You will be you will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. I'm going to take another one off. You will be my witnesses, telling people about, telling people about me everywhere, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Now I'm going to take another one off. You will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Now I'm going to take another one off. You will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. And now I'm going to take another one off. You will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere, in in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. 
and I'm going to take another one off. You will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere, in, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. And I'm going to take another one off. You will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. And I'm going to take another one off. You will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Now I'm going to take another one off. You will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and throughout the ends of the earth. Acts chapter 1, one verse 8. Now I'm going to take the last one off. You will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and on the ends of the earth. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Hello, I wonder in lockdown, have you found yourself watching more TV than you used to? Some of us are watching a uh, whole series in one go, enjoying things like Netflix. Um, I was remembering a time when I was little and watching TV was something we did as a family. And there was a particular show on a Saturday night that we all really enjoyed. It had families set against each other and it was called The Generation Game. At the end, the winning family got to have a go at the conveyor belt challenge when you watch things go past on a conveyor belt and you had to remember as many as you could and they were the prizes you won. If you remembered them all, you won them all. If you remembered two, you remembered two. And I thought this morning we could have a go at our own version of the conveyor belt challenge. So here are some things coming up and your challenge is to remember them. Okay, ready? Here we go. So we have a wooden spoon, a packet of colouring pens, an apple, a mini trombone, a pair of scissors, a cuddly toy, a jigsaw puzzle, a hairbrush, toothpaste, a candle, toilet roll and a set of juggling balls. Keep those in mind. See if you can remember them. We're going to come back in a few minutes after the song and see how you do. But right now we're going to sing with actions. We want to see Jesus lifted high. Want to see Jesus lifted high. I heard the flies across the land. All my race see the truth and know He is the way to heaven We're gonna see Jesus lifted high Fire the flies across the land All oh, my may see the truth and know He is the way to heaven We want to see Oh, 
So how did you do on our conveyor belt challenge? How many of the objects did you remember? Tell the people that you are with now. How did you remember them? Did you picture them in your head? Or did something somebody said remind you of some of them? How do we remember things when we can't see them? How did the disciples remember Jesus? Our reading today tells us how Jesus has returned to heaven 40 days after Easter. He's returned to his father where he is now. So how did they remember the things that he had said and done? Well, verse 13 tells us that they stayed together. I'm sure while they were together, they were talking about all those things that Jesus had said. So we too must stay together. Even though we're apart during this season, somehow we must stay together to tell each other of the things of Jesus and the truths of God's word. How do we do that? Maybe we can do it through Facebook, through these services. Chris shares a word and a thought every day that you can look at and read. Maybe you could find some friends to study with through Zoom or through texting. Find a way to share those stories together. You can use Bible notes or apps. Tim Burns on the DDYC website shares thoughts for young adults every week. And there are children's work through Jigsaw, through Kathy and Jane. We can read our Bibles. The Gospels are written as those eyewitnesses accounts. In Acts 1 verse 1, it says, I wrote about all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day he was taken up to heaven. So reading our Bibles reminds us of those things about Jesus, the stories of him. What else can we do? Verse 14 tells us that they all joined together constantly in prayer. And we too remember Jesus as we pray. We can pray on our own. We can pray as families. We can pray in small groups. Chris emails prayer points every Tuesday. And if you'd like those, please get in touch. At the minute, we're in the middle of our 10 days of prayer. The bishop asked, has asked us particularly to pray at this time. And those prayer points are posted up every day. Prayer isn't just about asking Jesus for things. It's about listening and asking Jesus to speak to you and remind you of his truths. The disciples were waiting in prayer, waiting for the Holy Spirit to come. And we'll celebrate that next week. But we already have that Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit prompts us and reminds us and teaches us. He lives in us and he gives us power to remember and live out those words of Jesus. But we still have that responsibility to read the Bible and to pray and learn. Then also we must witness to Jesus. We thought of that in our memory verse, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes and you will be my witnesses in all Judea in Samaria and to the ends of the earth. For us today, maybe that should be, well, you'll be my witnesses at home, at work or in school, in Newton Arts and to all the world. We are witnesses. If we don't tell, nobody else did. How is Jesus remembered by us? and known by others through our witness. So how do we witness? We encourage people. We encourage them to join with us in reading the Bible and in praying. We tell them of the promises of Jesus. I will never leave you. 
I will forgive you. We can help people practically. We can listen to them, to their worries, their fears and their concerns. And we can pray for them. So this week, think about remembering Jesus. Remembering Jesus as you read God's word. Praying for all those that you meet and talk to this week. And sending a letter or a card to encourage people to know Jesus more, to follow him more and to make him known. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for knowing us and loving us. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you that we are your witnesses and help us to be true to you, to spread your word throughout our homes, throughout our work and our schools, throughout our town and in all the world. Jesus be known, Jesus be remembered. Jesus, we ask that you'll be with us today and in these 10 days of prayer that we would know you more and love you more. Amen.
pray. Jesus came from his Father in heaven and our Father. Thank you, Creator God, for goodness to us. Jesus came alive after death, defeating evil. Thank you, Creator God, for goodness to us. Jesus went to the hillside and shone in glory. Thank you, Creator God, for the goodness to us. Jesus ascended to his Father and our Father. Thank you, Creator God, for the goodness to us. Jesus is in heaven now and also lives in us. Thank you, Creator God, for the goodness in us. We look for the return of Jesus. As you went to heaven, come, Lord Jesus. We look for the power to be with the leaders and rulers. As you went to heaven, come, Lord Jesus. Look for your world to be at peace. As you went to heaven, come, Lord Jesus. We look for your light to shine in our community. As you went to heaven, come, Lord Jesus. Look for our hope and healing for the sick. As you went to heaven, come, Lord Jesus. We look for the unity in your church. As you went to heaven, come, Lord Jesus. We thank you. We thank you that you hear our prayers. As you went to heaven, come, Lord Jesus. We pray that we sh would be able to understand the greatness of God who took Jesus to heaven and lives there now. We pray that we would see a little of the glory of heaven in the world where we live and work, with Jesus helping us here now through his spirit. We pray that we have the hope of heaven. We pray that we have the hope of worship daily in our hearts as we pray and worship daily with Jesus revealing to us now through his power. Amen. We pray too for members of our church family today. We pray for those in our family who are facing illness at this time, naming before you Mark and Jimmy as well as others we know who are unwell. We pray for those in our church family facing loss and grief at this time, remembering particularly the families of Sam Reid and Anna McCarthy. We pray that you would comfort them in this time and we lift up Tommy, Anna's husband and the wider family circles before you now. Finally, we pray for God's kingdom to come on earth as we join together to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. And deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for worshipping with us today. We will sing our closing hymn, Heal the Risen Lord, in a moment. But first let us close with the blessing. Let us pray. May Jesus, who showed the way to glory as he went up to heaven, help us see that glory. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you now and remain with you always. Amen. Just as we finish our service of worship, I wanted to say a big thank you to all of the young people who have taken part in our service and made it such an engaging and enjoyable time of worship. Thank you.